Hey everyone, welcome back to Keeping It Real in the Kitchen. I'm Candace Cole and we are making something delicious today. You can see the crock pot is out. You already knew it was out because you clicked on the recipe that said crock pot slow cooker. This is an amazing side dish. I don't know about you guys, but I always focus on the main dish, like a really good chicken recipe or a really delicious steak and I forget about side dishes and I'm like, what am I gonna serve with this? Vegetables, uh, rice, beans, it's kind of the same thing, but this is something that could just be cooking that I just dump all together and I have an amazing side dish. I mean, I'm a huge mushroom fan. I could eat mushrooms as my main dish. Been there, done that before. But it's five simple ingredients. Here they are, guys. We need some mushrooms. We are gonna be using two containers of mushrooms. That's about um, one pound. They're about eight ounces each. So I have two of these um, whole mushrooms. They're like, um, people call them button mushrooms. These ones say Monterey mushrooms. They definitely say wash before use. We will be doing that. You also need a package of ranch. Now, I know I got the Great Value Ranch. I do suggest the Hidden Valley, but I went down the aisle with all the ranch and I saw this first and then there was a ton of people for some reason standing by the Hidden Valley Ranch and it, they, they're probably very similar. They're probably the same. They probably come out in the same like factory and just go in different packages. I've heard of that sneaky sneak stuff happening. But there were so many people by there. I was like, I don't, I have a cart and I'm not gonna be like, yes, yeah, I just need it. And it just didn't work. They were having like a conversation by the ranch. I don't know what happened. You also need Parmesan. I definitely suggest the real Parmesan cheese, the real grated stuff, not the little tiny, are those balls, specks? I'll call them specks. Not the little tiny specks of Parmesan, but real Parmesan makes a big difference. Then we're gonna be using some garlic. I'm gonna be using, I'm like searching for everything up here. We're gonna be using six cloves of garlic because garlic is delicious. And then a whole stick of butter. Now you can increase this recipe. There's only two of us who eat mushrooms in this house. Our third does not enjoy mushrooms, but I'm telling you, we're gonna, I'm gonna eat one whole container and he's gonna eat one whole container. Remember mushrooms shrink when you cook them. You can easily double this recipe. Super easy and simple to do. It's just pretty much more butter, garlic, and cheese and mushrooms, you know, all the ingredients. So let's get to it. First things first, we are going to melt down this butter. We're gonna melt it in the microwave. Um, I always cut my butter up before I melt it down. It just seems to melt uh, quicker, easier. So let's melt this down. While this is melting down, however, we can start washing our mushrooms. I leave the stems on mine because I'm like, the more mushroom, the better. You can trim some if you're like, stems freak me out. That's fine, but wash them. Wash them good because uh, mushrooms ground dirty. Some people like to leave the dirt on mushrooms. I read that in a, in a forum when I was looking at this recipe. They're like, if my mushrooms aren't too dirty, I just take a paper towel and dust them off. But if they're really dirty, I wash them. I was like, I always wash them. That, yeah, that's me. There's hands and dirt and worms. Yeah, butter, wash, let's go. One minute in the microwave, it seemed to melt down that butter for me. Once our mushrooms are all washed, rinsed, I mean, I did take my hand and scrub them on top of them. They just go right inside the crock pot. The mushrooms have been washed and the butter has been melted, but I almost forgot to tell you, you can use that garlic herb butter. And I tried to find it, Aldi doesn't have it, and I didn't feel like going to Walmart because Walmart's Walmart. I guess I could have got it when I got the ranch packet. Hmm. Eh. So once that's done, we can pour the butter right on top. Again, crock pot recipes is all, we're just pouring stuff in. Then we're gonna chop up our six cloves of garlic, which I kinda did a little earlier, I cheated. I made mine a little bit bigger than mincing, and we're just gonna sprinkle all that garlic on top. I did also, I did six cloves, and I did big cloves. I didn't do little baby cloves. Spread these mushrooms out a little. Boom, cause I, mm, garlic. Yes. We're gonna add the ranch right on top. We're gonna mix everything together at the end. Now. Let's say you're not really a big fan of ranch. You could also get the package of Italian just like this. And people have tried the, these in an Italian way, which I thought was cool. I love ranch. And if you'd like to, this is a little extra ingredient. If you have fresh parsley, you could throw that right on top. Or I just have a little parsley because parsley always makes things look like you really cooked it. It adds that green and people, 
<laughs> so bad, but to me, people are like, oh my gosh, it's actually cooked, it's actually been made. That's how I feel. And then we're gonna do at least, did you hear that word? Keyword there, at least, those are two words, a minimum of two tablespoons of your shredded Parmesan. You can add more if you would like, because the minimum is two tablespoons. I can't open it that way. It's the minimum, not the maximum. The max, it's not, I just, you couldn't see it because the crock pot was in the way, but I pulled that off and now I have cheese. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm measuring. I should just see what I want and be like, that looks good. Yeah, that's better. There we go. Parmesan is, I like Parmesan. I don't ever think I've said to a cheese, I don't like you. Swiss, I'm not a huge fan of, and pepper jack. Sometimes, really have to be in the mood for those two. Everything's in there, let's mix it up. I'm not Sir Mix a lot, I'm Miss Mix a lot. Mrs., yeah, lady. Lady Mix a lot, Sir Lady, I'm done. This is how it looks pre-mixed. Let's get all the flavors mixed around. That's literally all the prep work that it takes to make this delicious side dish. So now we're gonna get them cooking for three hours on low. Let's do it. I'm ready to eat them. Have you ever forgot to turn your crock pot actually on? Like I've plugged it in, but it's been in the off position and forgot to turn it on. Now, I've only made that mistake once. It's a very quick mistake to learn from because as you know, things in the crock pot cook all day. And then when you go to check on your chili and you're like, why is the pan ice cold? You're like, because you didn't flip the switch. So, just wanted to share that. The mushrooms are done. That look on my face was because I lifted the lid to show you inside what they looked like and the aroma like hit me and I was like, oh, this is the perfect mushroom smell. Oh, I cannot wait to try these. I'm so excited. They cooked that three hours. I'm gonna mix them around just to kind of get the butter and everything all over. Ooh, my mouth is watering. Wow. Oh. Okay, it's 11 a.m., it's good enough. I thought it was still like nine and I was like, ah, I love mushrooms, they're hot. I put a little piece of garlic on there. Oh man, my mouth is watering. Oh yeah, that's good. Mix it all around because you want to make sure that ranch is all mixed up because that ranch can cause just a little bit of tang. Um, oh man. Ooh, garlic, parm. Could have done a little extra parm. Could have sprinkled some parm on top when it's done. Don't mind if I do. They're just cooked really well, really soft. You bring these to any party or like your mother-in-law's house or something like that and they're gonna be like, Mmm, make these every time. And the parsley looks lovely in there. Definitely looks like you were cooking. And you kind of did. You made these. Mmm. These mushrooms speak for themselves. You would know if you tried them. Few ingredients, throw it inside, give it a shot. Stop watching, go shopping after you subscribe. Like this video, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mmm, I can't stop eating them. Huh. When the cheese is on there with the garlic, Mmm. Mmm. I mean, I didn't think I was gonna eat this plateful, but I am. Mushrooms are my number one. Mmm.